I loved it. I loved it. I came in not having experience with many tools at all. Some tools, but not many. Uh, the power tool usage has been quite exciting. Uh, and actually having my hands on every, almost every piece of wood that has gone into the little house so far is, you wouldn't expect to have that experience you know, at a workshop. I would tell that anybody who, who is interested in coming into one of these workshops that um, it is very informative, that you will get your money's worth. The, uh, the, well, one of the things is the community that was created here by all the people that were attending, uh, networking, find, meeting people from all over the country that have similar interests. Accommodations and the food that were, were provided were also above par. Um, really, I really enjoyed that. The knowledge that was shared, um, not with just the uh, people who ran the workshop here, but also some of the other attendees. I really didn't know how to use any power tools. Um, I was really intimidated by the idea of using a table saw or a nail gun, and now I'm not. Um, so I'm going to go home and I'm going to fix my fence finally and um, I'm going to take apart uh, my chest of drawers that I no longer use and make it into a bookshelf because I need another bookshelf. So I'm really excited to have those new skills. And one of the things that I really liked was that um, if you have a question, they'll stop and answer your questions and show you how to do something as opposed to like pushing it off onto somebody else. They'll stop and explain. Uh, the process of what we're trying to accomplish, uh, the layouts of the plans, um, how to go about screwing or nailing or bracing something. Um, yeah, it's been really supportive. I think meeting the other people at the workshop is very important. Uh, I think the fact that we were all just newbies is very important because there doesn't seem to be, you know, experts here. It's Pretty much they're all like me. They're learning how to use power tools, they're learning how to figure uh, things out and, and then how to correct them if it doesn't turn out exactly how you thought. So it makes me comfortable to be among people who have my same level of expertise or non-expertise. In long term I want to build a tiny house. Uh, short term I'm, I'm going to go home and I walk dogs for a living so every time I pass a house and this happens all the time like every time I pass a house that's abandoned I know it's gonna get torn down because houses get torn down in Houston all the time and get replaced with giant townhomes and perfectly good houses every time I pass them up I won't be able to pass them up the same way I'm gonna want to at least collect the window <laughs> and like refurbish that so it was about a year ago that I did the Westhoff Salvage deconstruction and since then I've been doing my own deconstruction. I've probably done about four or five uh, farms, uh, farmhouses and barns and collected a lot of the materials and some of it I've kept for myself. Other stuff I've actually been able to sell off. One of the things is it's been really cool to see some of the specialty tools that you can use either for building or for doing salvage mining. Um, some of the special crowbars, the um, pure salvage skin remover, which I know that Tiny Texas Houses sells is pretty awesome um, for pulling up flooring. And um, you know, also some of the, the nail guns we were using for putting down our own flooring um, and basically just kind of seeing the uh, the process of putting it all together, some of the SketchUp stuff that Mackie's done was really great when we were framing windows to kind of be able to have a very clear plan and to plug in any size window. It's a great tool to be able to plug in your dimensions and then know exactly what you need to cut for your framing. So being able to see those skills in action and feel like I can take them back and use them at home on future projects is probably the most useful thing that I've taken from this, just kind of picking up those skills and then having the confidence to hopefully use them in my own projects down the road. Me and my sister are already talking about coming with my mom too when we get older so that we could bring back some memories and stuff and uh, build one and then like if I have kids when I'm older that I can build them one and have fun so they can have fun. Anything that you're comfortable trying, if there's something you want to learn then 
This is a great environment to do it. There are really knowledgeable people around to help you learn and you know, don't be afraid to come and try it and to see if salvage mining is something that you want to pursue as a way to get great materials for your own projects or if salvage building is something you're interested in doing to pick up some great techniques, just come try it out and see if it's for you. I'm already planning on coming back two or three times. So I don't think any of you or Darby can uh, keep, me, keep me away from this place for very long.